one. This is how you set the timing on a with an HPI 068 series ignition. Um, in order to set the timing, you're going to need a dial indicator like this that can screw into the spark plug hole. And we're going to set the line up the timing marks at uh, two millimeters before the piston reaches the top of its travel. So that's two millimeters before top dead center. So I'm going to begin by screwing the dial indicator into this into the spark plug hole here. Before I go into that, um, I have a adapter plate which is attached to the cases right there, and then the HPI st uh, stator attaches to that adapter plate. And when I put the stator plate on, I put the screws in the stator plate so that there's room on both sides of them. So if the if the flywheel moves a little bit when I tighten it down, I can adjust the stator plate. As you can see, there's no key in the flywheel, um, so we have to we have to measure where the flywheel goes on the crankshaft. So um, to begin with, uh, I'm going to turn the motor over. If you use a pliers like this, you got to be really careful. If it turns easy, you can do this, but if you damage the thread, then you got a big problem. So let's go to top dead center. Now the engine turns when it's running, it turns counterclockwise, the direction I'm turning it. And um, so we're, it doesn't matter too much what direction you turn the motor now, we're going to find where the piston is, we're going to measure where the piston is at the top of its stroke, and that's where it is. And I'm going to zero the dial at zero. So that means if you look at that, if you go, there's the piston approaching the top, there it's at the top, now it's going back down. So when the, when the dial is lined up with the zero, the piston is at the top of its travel. So now we have to rotate the engine clockwise because we want to line up the timing marks two millimeters before top dead center. So we're going one millimeter, two millimeters, okay. Now we're going to put the flywheel on and we're going to need to line up the flywheel with uh, one of these marks here. So we're going to line up the mark on the flywheel with the HPI logo on the flywheel on the left side of the crankshaft. So the flywheel has to go just like this. If you put it like that, it won't start because it'll be sparking at bottom dead center instead of top dead center. You can run this this ignition is made to work on engines that go both uh, clockwise and counterclockwise but for our purposes to make sure we have it oriented properly the HPI logo goes right there we slide the crank the the flywheel on the end of the crank and without moving the dial without moving the crank we line up with that second long mark okay now I got it setting on there now, it's probably going to move if I try and tighten the flywheel nut, so I'm going to use a 17 millimeter socket that just fits over the end of the crank. I'm going to smack it with the hammer so that it sets itself on the taper. Now, I'm going to put the washer, that's important, you've got to have the washer, and then the flywheel nut. I'm going to screw that down. And then I'm going to use a... Uh, I'm going to use an impact wrench to tighten it. If you want to go through all the trouble of locking this down and putting a torque wrench on it, knock yourself out. So, I know my wrench and I know about how much I gotta tighten it and it'll never come loose if you do it like that. So, now I'm gonna go back and check my timing and see if anything moved. Now we'll go find our top dead center again here. Turning it uh, clockwise, one, two. Now, let's see if I got it. And it's lined up perfect. So it's as simple as that.